So let's talk a little bit about your duties. <laughs> My duties? If you're wondering why Chandler is smiling, that's because the word duties sounds just like this word, duties. So stick around, this will all make sense soon. <laughs> In today's episode, Chandler is on the hot seat and things seem to be going well until he loses control. On the hot seat means to be in a position of being questioned and closely examined. Often this refers to the pressure of a job interview. Remember, we should always be careful about what we say while making a first impression. First, we'll watch a clip with subtitles. Second, we'll break down the English. And third, you'll watch the entire clip without subtitles and see how well you understand. Chandler, why so fancy? Well, I got a job interview. It's kind of a big deal, too. It's a lot more money, and I'd be doing data reconfiguration and statistical factoring. Wait, I think I know someone who does that. Me. I do that. <laughs> so, seriously, do I, do I look okay? I'm a little nervous. Oh, yeah. You really, you look great. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't get your hopes up. <laughs> why not? Well, the interview. What about it? You know, you don't make a very good first impression. <laughs> What? Oh, you don't know. Are you serious? Yes, I mean, when I first met you, you were like, blah, 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 blah. I was like... Shh! <laughs> <laughs> what is it that I do? Well, it's just like you're trying too hard, always making jokes, you know? You just, you come off a little needy. Did you like me when we first met? Chandler, I'm not gonna lie to you but I am going to run away from you. I can't even believe this. I really come off that badly. Oh, it's okay. You calm down after a while, and then people can see how really sweet and wonderful you really are. Oh, good, good, because I'm sure this interview is going to last a couple of weeks. All right, don't freak out, okay? I, I will help you. How long before you have to leave? An hour. I can't help you. We'll just do our best, okay? So let's say that I'm the interviewer and I'm meeting you for the first time. Okay. Hi, come on in. I'm uh, Regina Falange. Chandler Bing. Oh, Bing. What an unusual name. Well, you should meet my uncle, Bada. <laughs> I'll let myself out. I think you'll find if I come to work here that I don't micromanage. I don't shy away from delegating. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. But let's stop focusing on what you don't do and focus on what you do do. <laughs> what I do do <laughs> is manage to uh, create an atmosphere of support for the people working with me. I see. Nice sidestep on the do do thing, by the way. Hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> oh, you gotta go. Oh. Okay, don't worry, you're ready. Really? Absolutely! Just fight all your natural instincts and you'll be great. <laughs> also, I was the point person on my company's transition from the KL-5 to GR-6 systems. You must have had your hands full. That I did. That I did. <laughs> so, let's talk a little bit about your duties. <laughs> My duties? <laughs> All right. Now, you'll be heading a whole division, so you'll have a lot of duties. I see. But there'll be perhaps 30 people under you, so you can dump a certain amount on them. <laughs> Good to know. All right, then. We'll have a definite answer for you on Monday. But I think I can say with some confidence, you'll fit in well here. Really? Absolutely. <sighs> you can relax. You did great. I gotta say thank you. I was really nervous. You know, I've been told I come on too strong, make too many jokes. You know, and then it was really hard to sidestep the duty thing. <laughs> Duties. Duties. <laughs> Poo.
Oh my God, this doesn't count. Okay, the, the interview was over. That was the real Chandler Bing in there. This is just some crazy guy out in the hall. Call security. There's a crazy guy out in the hall. <laughs> Pooh. I look forward to your call. Hey, Chandler, why so fancy? Well, I got a job interview. It's kind of a big deal, too. It's a lot more money, and I'd be doing data reconfiguration and statistical factoring. Wait, I think I know someone who does that. Me? I do that. <laughs> so, seriously, do I, do I look okay? I'm a little nervous. Oh, yeah, you really, you look great. Yeah. You know, just don't get your hopes up. <laughs> When someone says don't get your hopes up, it's a reminder to be cautious and realistic about the future to avoid possible disappointment. For example, I wouldn't get your hopes up about getting that promotion. There are a lot of qualified candidates and the competition will be tough. You know, just don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Why not? Well, the interview. What about it? You know, you don't make a very good first impression. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't know. Are you serious? Yes, I mean, when I first met you, you were like, blah, 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 blah. I was like... Shh. <laughs> what is it that I do? Well, it's just like you're trying too hard, always making jokes, you know? You just, you come off a little needy. To come off a little too needy means that someone appears overly dependent or requiring too much attention or assistance from others. For example, I like you, but sometimes your constant texts make you come off a little needy. Did you like me when we first met? Chandler, I'm not going to lie to you, but I am going to run away from you. <laughs> I can't even believe this. I really come off that badly. Oh. It's okay. You calm down after a while, and then people can see how really sweet and wonderful you really are. Oh, good, good, because I'm sure this interview is going to last a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, don't freak out, okay? I, I will help you. How long before you have to leave? An hour. I can't help you. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll just do our best, okay? So let's say that I'm the interviewer, and I'm meeting you for the first time. Okay. Hi, come on in. I'm uh, Regina Falange. Chandler Bing. Oh, Bing. What an unusual name. Well, you should meet my uncle, Bada. <laughs> this is another example of one of Chandler's bad jokes. Chandler's last name is Bing, and he's making the joke that his uncle's first name is Bada. And if you put those together, you've got Bada Bing. And this is a slang phrase that means you've done something really quickly. For example, I just fixed my new car with a simple tweak of the engine. Bada bing, it's good as new. And it's this kind of joking that could get Chandler's job interview in trouble. I'll let myself out. I think you'll find if I come to work here that I don't micromanage. I don't shy away from delegating. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. But let's stop focusing on what you don't do and focus on what you do do. There are often words that sound the same but have very different meanings. And when Phoebe says do-do, it really sounds like another word, do-do. And that's sort of a child's word for poo or, you know, what happens in the toilet. And Chandler is struggling not to joke about this. <laughs> what I do-do... is managed to uh, create an atmosphere of support for the people working with me. I see. Nice sidestep on the doo-doo thing, by the way. Hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> to sidestep something means to avoid or circumvent a problem or issue, either by taking a different approach, focusing on a different aspect, or physically moving out of the way. For example, rather than directly answering the question, the politician sidestepped by talking about a related topic and avoiding any controversy. Nice sidestep on the doo-doo thing, by the way. Hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> oh, you gotta go. Oh. Okay, don't worry. You're ready. Really? Absolutely. Just fight all your natural instincts and you'll be great. <laughs> also, I was the point person on my company's transition from the KL5 to GR6 systems. You must have had your hands full.
This is just an idiom that means to be very busy or have a lot of work to do. You must have had your hands full. And I did. That I did. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about your duties. Yes, you guessed it. The word duties is also spelled differently and means another word, duties. More toilet humor. <laughs> My duties? Now, you'll be heading a whole division, so you'll have a lot of duties. I see. But there'll be perhaps 30 people under you, so you can dump a certain amount on them. Yes, dump has another meaning, too. Can you guess? <laughs> Good to know. All right, then. We'll have a definite answer for you on Monday. But I think I can say with some confidence, you'll fit in well here. Really? Absolutely. Oh. You can relax. You did great. Yeah, I gotta say thank you. I was really nervous. You know, I've been told I come on too strong, make too many jokes. You know, and then it was really hard to sidestep that duty thing. <laughs> Duties. Duties. <laughs> Poo. Who? Oh my God, this doesn't count. Okay, the, the interview was over. That was the real Chandler Bing in there. This is just some crazy guy out in the hall. Call up security. There's a crazy guy out in the hall. Cool. I look forward to your call. Hey Chandler, why so fancy? Well, I got a job interview. It's kind of a big deal, too. It's a lot more money, and I'd be doing data reconfiguration and statistical factoring. Wait, I think I know someone who does that. Me. I do that. <laughs> so, seriously, do I, do I look okay? I'm a little nervous. Oh, yeah. You really, you look great. Yeah. You know, just don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Why not? Well, the interview. What about it? You know, you don't make a very good first impression. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't know. Are you serious? Yes, I mean, when I first met you, you were like, blah, 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 blah. I was like... Shh. Huh. What is it that I do? Well, it's just like you're trying too hard, always making jokes, you know? You just, you come off a little needy. Did you like me when we first met? Chandler, I'm not going to lie to you. But I am going to run away from you. <laughs> Believe this. I really come off that badly. Oh, it's okay. You calm down after a while, and then people can see how really sweet and wonderful you really are. Oh, good, good, because I'm sure this interview is going to last a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, don't freak out, okay? I, I will help you. How long before you have to leave? An hour. I can't help you. We'll just do our best, okay? So let's say that I'm the interviewer and I'm meeting you for the first time. Okay. Hi. Come on in. I'm uh, Regina Falange. Chandler Bing. Oh, Bing. What an unusual name. Well, you should meet my uncle, Bada. <laughs> I'll let myself out. I think you'll find, if I come to work here, that I don't micromanage. I don't shy away from delegating. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. But let's stop focusing on what you don't do and focus on what you do do. <laughs> what I do do... <laughs> is manage to uh, create an atmosphere of support for the people working with me. I see. Nice sidestep on the do-do thing, by the way. Hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> You gotta go. Oh. Okay, don't worry. You're ready. Really? Absolutely. Just fight all your natural instincts and you'll be great. Also, I was the point person on my company's transition from the KL5 to GR6 systems. You must have had your hands full. That I did. That I did. So, let's talk a little bit about your duties. <laughs> My duties? <laughs> All right. 
Now, you'll be heading a whole division, so you'll have a lot of duties. I see. But there'll be perhaps 30 people under you, so you can dump a certain amount on them. Good to know. All right, then. We'll have a definite answer for you on Monday. But I think I can say with some confidence, you'll fit in well here. Really? Absolutely. <sighs> you can relax. You did great. Yeah, I gotta say thank you. I was really nervous. You know, I've been told I come on too strong, make too many jokes. You know, and then it was really hard to sidestep the duty thing. <laughs> Duties. Duties. <laughs> Poo. Oh, my God, this doesn't count. Okay? The, the interview was over. That was the real Chandler being in there. This is just some crazy guy out in the hall. Call up security. There's a crazy guy out in the hall. Cool. I look forward to your call. And if you would like to see more lessons like this, check out this video right here so you can continue to level up your lingo.